Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also busy rolling out the non-security bug fix updates for Windows 11 for April 2023, which are now also made available in the fourth week of every month, where previously the optional updates used to be made available in the third week of every month. And obviously the updates are optional, so you do not have to install them and only install them if you are experiencing issues with your operating system. And if you don't decide to install the updates now, um, the fixes and improvements will be carried over into the May Patch Tuesday compulsory automatic um, update. Now, um, for Windows 11 22H2, the update is KB5025305. And for Windows 11, the original release, 21H2, KB5025298, and these are exactly the same updates I did post on a week or two ago, which were in preview and have now made their way to the stable version of Windows 11. Now, um, Windows 11 22H2 gets three new features with this update, and one of those new features is actually shared between both versions of Windows 11, and was also made available for Windows 10. And just to mention this quickly, uh, the update changes firewall settings. You can now configure application group rules. So that is rolled out for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And then over and above that, Windows 11 22H2 gets two new features on top of that. Now, the first um, of those new features is this update adds animations to a few icons on the widgets taskbar button. And Microsoft says these animations turn on when a new announcement appears on the widgets taskbar button and if you hover over or click on the widgets taskbar button so you can expect to see those um, new animations um, rolling out to the um, widgets taskbar button over the next coming days or weeks if you have not seen them already and then i think a big one with this update is we get a new option and setting for windows updates so if we head to the windows update page and i have posted on this previously and um, the update adds a new toggle. So yeah, you can see on the Windows Update page, um, when you turn this on, um, Microsoft says you will be the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes, and improvements as they roll out. So basically, um, um, this will prioritize your device to get the latest um, non-security updates and enhancements when they are available for your device, as mentioned. So um, you can toggle this on and you can turn this off if you don't want to get those features sooner than later. And this was in preview and has now made its way to the stable channel. And this is going to be an interesting one to watch um, to see how Microsoft actually starts pushing this out to Windows 11 22H2. And obviously, I will keep you updated as to the rollout and how that actually goes in the future. Now, over and above that, um, this is a non-security bug fix update. And the same fixes more or less have rolled out for Windows 10 and both versions of Windows 11. But just for the purpose of this video, just to go through a couple of these, um, the update addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode. Um, a pop-up window was opening in the background instead of in the foreground. And the update addresses an issue that affects the Chinese input method. Uh, you couldn't see all of the first suggested items. And uh, um, just to mention a couple of others, three more for windows 11 h2 and um, if you are using the task view um, the update addresses an issue that displays task view in the wrong area apparently this was occurring when you closed a full screen game by pressing win and tab so that's a task view fix that's rolled out and if we head back to our accounts and our sign in um sign-in options. For Windows 11 22H2, the update addresses an issue that was occurring when you use a PIN to sign into Windows Hello for business and signing into remote desktop services might fail. And um, the error message is the request is not supported. So that's a Windows Hello bug fix. And the last one for um, Windows 11 22H2, um, the update addresses an issue that affects the ORIA REFS file system, which is resilient file system. A blue screen of death was occurring and um, the OS was apparently not starting up correctly. So that's a quite an important fix, uh, fixing a stop error, which is known as a blue screen of death. And over and above that, the servicing stack gets an update, which is the component that installs Windows updates. And for Windows 11 21H2, uh, there is a fix that is worth mentioning. 
uh, that didn't roll out for 22H2 and um, the update makes improvements to the performance of the search box which uh, Microsoft is focusing on for Windows 11. And um, if we just head over to Winver about Windows, um, if we just enter that quickly, Winver about Windows. For Windows 11 22H2, the new OS build is at 2261.1635. And um, if you are still running uh, Windows 11 21H2 and you have installed the update, that will be OS build 22000.1880. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.